Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero is a novel that is both a homage and a parody of the classic TV show Scooby-Doo. The book follows a group of teenagers who, years after they were once amateur detectives, return to their hometown to solve a case that they never fully resolved. The story is a blend of horror, comedy, and mystery, and Cantero's writing style is inventive and entertaining. One of the strengths of Meddling Kids is its characters. The members of the teen detective group are all well-drawn and distinct, and their interactions with one another are both funny and poignant. The novel takes a postmodern approach to the archetypes of the original Scooby-Doo characters, subverting them in unexpected ways. For example, the character of Peter, who in the original show was the leader of the group, is now a troubled young man who has been institutionalized. The character of Nate, who in the show was the hippie stoner, is now a successful businessman who has lost touch with his roots. By reimagining these characters in this way, Cantero is able to explore deeper themes of nostalgia, trauma, and the loss of innocence. The setting of the novel is also a highlight. The town of Blyton Hills, where the story takes place, is a Lovecraftian creation, full of ancient evil and malevolent magic. Cantero's descriptions of the town are evocative and vivid, and he has a talent for creating atmosphere. The book's climactic scenes take place in an abandoned mine that is both terrifying and awe-inspiring. The plot of Meddling Kids is fast-paced and engaging. The mystery at the heart of the story is a classic Scooby-Doo premise, a group of teenagers investigate a supposedly haunted house, only to discover that there is something far more sinister at work. However, Cantero takes this premise and turns it on its head, adding twists and turns that keep the reader guessing until the very end. The book's final reveal is satisfying and surprising, tying up loose ends in a way that is both clever and emotionally resonant. One of the book's few weaknesses is its reliance on pop culture references. While some of these references are clever and add to the overall tone of the novel, others feel forced and unnecessary. There are also times when the book's self-awareness can be grating, as when the characters comment on the absurdity of their own situation. However, these flaws are minor and do not detract significantly from the overall enjoyment of the book. In conclusion, Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero is a highly entertaining novel that will appeal to fans of both Scooby-Doo and horror fiction. The book's characters are well-drawn, its setting is evocative, and its plot is engaging. While the book's reliance on pop culture references can be distracting at times, these flaws are minor and do not detract from the overall enjoyment of the book. Cantero's writing style is inventive and entertaining, and Meddling Kids is a must-read for anyone looking for a fun, spooky, and nostalgic ride.